first impression of the team at Cult Dynamics was that you know they have a really clear short-term vision about where they want to uh, you know take their technology and what value they want to add to the overall AM industry, and then they have a really nice longer-term vision around specific use cases and, and applications that address um, you know some real customer pain points you know in the industry. Yeah, in the future, I, yeah, I think the industry is so dynamic uh, and at such an early stage overall that teams like Cult have a lot of potential uh, to make their mark by focusing on developing technology you know, that prioritizes things like speed and ease of use. You know, and a, as we move out of you know, what is kind of currently a, a phase of testing and, and qualification um, you know, in the overall industry, those attributes are going to be more and more critical to driving adoption moving forward. The one word I would use to describe Cult Dynamics is focus. You know, they're really, really focused on um, gearing all of their design and development decisions around these core principles of speed, ease of use, and scalability, uh, which are, you know, again, all critical uh, as we sort of push the industry forward. It is now 18 minutes after 8. It seems kind of like magic, but it's called stereolithography. You dream up an idea, plot it out on your computer, and then presto, out comes an exact model. As science editor Michael Gillen tells us, it's revolutionizing American industry. So that was the 80s. So what happened? <laughs> 3D printing was going to change the world. You see, they knew back then that prototyping would be the first use of printing, but they expected it to move on. They expected it to revolutionize industry. As you heard in the segment, it started with stereolithography, or SLA, and there have been six major processes in that time. And the world did change, just not as much or in the way that people expected. Hello, my name is Ross Lawless, I'm CEO of Cal Dynamics, and this evening I will be talking about process number seven, physical mass curing. This process that we have invented and patented is going to bring about the changes we have all been waiting over 30 years for. The reason why 3D printing hasn't made it into industry or impacted as many lives as expected has been evolving over decades. But historical reasons like modeling and materials, these are largely solved. The real problem, the problem of today, is the investment cost and scalability of current 3D printing solutions. And this really matters because 3D printing can affect issues or can solve issues that affect millions of lives every year. Our 3D printers can solve issues like access to clean water by printing filters where and when they're needed. Issues like access to energy by reducing in downtime in industry. And they can also be used to create a world with better and smarter products that can utilize this incredible manufacturing method. 3D printing has a usage of just 0.05% in industrial, manufa ma industrial manufacturing markets today, with low usage in products and end-use parts generally because there is no effective solution for large batches. Calt Dynamics is creating a new generation of 3D printers with the resolution capable of printing water filters, the price point to go to developing nations, and the usability required for the people there, as well as the scalability that industry really needs. Calt Dynamics can create PMC devices that are mobile and field ready, with no computer or internet required. And some of these devices can even print in dusty environments because they're sealed. And not only that, we're also creating a range of industrial devices with larger build volumes than have ever been seen before. These devices can use a wide range of materials and are suitable for large batch printing. One technology, but many solutions. Check this out. In the last 90 days alone, Calt Dynamics has created two PMC devices with two different levels of automation. And there are many more form factors to come. These devices can be used in aid applications as well as developing nations where access to consistent power is limited. In field service ap applications as a logistical solution. So we're talking about printing parts in the field just in time where they're needed. They can also be used for high resolution printing in scientific research and of course for large scale industrial batch printing. This is how the process works. A build plate is lowered into a container of liquid resin. UV light from a solid state light source shines through a physical mask. We can make these in a variety of materials and in a number of ways. The light hardens the plastic in the desired shape for any given layer, and then the build plate moves away and the process repeats until the part is built up. 
We will be retailing a range of PMC devices, plus associated hardware and consumables, which, due to their scalability, can suit a wide range of markets, some of which are new frontiers. To date, field service has been largely unaffected by 3D printing, despite the, want and, despite the need and want being there. But with ultra-low power requirements and new levels of mobility, PMC devices can access markets such as oil and gas field service worth in excess of 70 billion per year. And industrial printing is going to industrial scales. Large batches and large objects at unrivaled cost and resolution, with predictions of going from 0.05 to 5% of the industrial manufacturing market, this market could be worth over 640 billion per year, and polymer printing is said to make up a significant proportion of this. In addition to the two demo devices we have created in the last 90 days, we are already collaborating with Stanley Black & Decker's corporate social responsibility team to create a PMC device that is really going to change lives. So this shows you how quickly we're going to take these devices out into the world. And this is possible due to the novel characteristics of this technology. But not only that, it's also due to the incredible team we have at Caltynamics. We have a strong technical foundation with seven engineering degrees between the three founders, including mechanical, electrical, and industrial engineering. With years of experience in product development, additive manufacturing, and polymers. So, in summary, Calt Dynamics is about to reach new users and create new markets. It's going to change lives in developing nations and businesses here at home. 3D printing did change the world, but PMC means it will matter. Printing is going on trend. Boy, it'll really be interesting to see how scientists take this now and apply it in the future. Thank you.